Suno is back with new updates that I want to share with you. They have added the ability to fade out at the end of a song for a seamless ending to your tracks. The other new thing is they've streamlined the editing tools with all editing tools in one place and a brand new UI. For now, these features are available to pro users and up, but to help with the cost, another new thing Suno introduced is a student plan. Let's go through the editing first and I'll show you how to fade out a song later in the video. Prior to the update, you had to navigate to a song in your library. Click the three dots, hover over edit, and then go into each section separately. With the UI update, the edit button is clearly visible next to songs in your library. When you click on it and are taken to the next screen, Suno will start analyzing your song to break it down into different sections like verse, chorus, and so on. All of your editing tools are now at the top in one place, including the fade out feature, which I'm going to show you in a moment. We'll start with the replace section. After clicking on it, Suno will populate lyrics on the left and what style of music you want to add or exclude on the right. I'll get to this edit box in a moment. There's a white square at the bottom where you can adjust where you want the song to be replaced. Or if your edits are more streamlined and you just know that you want to replace an entire section, all you have to do is double click on it and the box will snap right in place. The gear icon on the bottom right has some additional adjustments, such as clicking an instrumental toggle so it changes that part of the song to remove the lyrics, along with a toggle so you can manually adjust the lyrics yourself. As you start manually editing lyrics, it'll be highlighted in red. And because I've started at the verse instead of the chorus, I can just click the select button and that white box will just snap right in place. When you're ready, click generate adjustments. You'll be asked to confirm it a second time. Do that and then this is where in the edits box you will find the two sections that are going to be replaced. You can click on each recommended replacement, take a listen to it, and if you like it you can just click confirm and generate. Or if you're not interested in these, click the cancel button and in lyrics you have three dots. Click on that, click reset lyrics, and then you can start again. Song extensions have a similar interface. The only thing to be aware of is the white box is fixed in place on the right. The only thing that you can do is adjust the slider to indicate to Suno where you want the extend to start from. Cropping is straightforward. You move the cursor to the part of the song that you want to isolate. Click the crop button. After the cropping concludes, you'll be brought back to the same screen. Initially, it wasn't clear to me whether the crop actually happened, but I went back to my library and I could see that the isolated clip was there with a crop identifier next to it. Let me show you how to fade out a song. When you click the fade out button, again, you'll get another fixed box in place and you can take the cursor to indicate where you want the fade to end for your song. Click the fade out button. Just like when we were cropping a part of a song, go back to your library and you're gonna see the song with the fade out there with a fade identifier. I get lots of comments from viewers like you who are frustrated with poor quality when you're creating songs in Suno or other AI music generators. If you got value out of this video and you wanna support the channel, I posted a link to an AI song creation system which solves your frustrations during the creation process. This guide goes beyond the scope of what I share in my videos. Click the link below posted in the video description.